me at the bar, leave me at the bar. Welcome to Life on Tap, episode 64, multimedia experience now from the heart of New York City. Um, thank you so much for all you returning um, blog watchers, so to speak, and all the all you new people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I'm just let you know this is a pre-recorded episode. Um, I um, from the date I'm recording this, I'll be going in uh, for my permanent veneer replacement. Um, my dental surgery basically on my uh, front two teeth tomorrow and then uh, this coming Monday I'm going to be in surgery to correct um, my my nose as a result of the fracture from the assault and it turns out my septum is ultra deviated now um, to one side. I, I finally got a view of the CT today. It's really kind of scary um, about that but but I want it because I'm going to be, um, so I'm told by um, um, our good a good friend of the show, um, Iron Sure, um, that we that you know I'm probably gonna lose my sense of taste and smell for at least a short while. So I figured that um, rather than not post anything, basically like um, I I'm gonna try and do my best basically to uh, have something in the feed w weekly um, as much as I can basically. So um, with that being said. Um, I'm going to break out the, one, some, the, uh, the next uh, beer I have in my series, provided Luna's quiet enough. Um, here we go. It's the Exit One from Flying Fish. It's a Bayshore Oyster Stout, actually brewed with oysters. Um, the this is actually this actually comes um, from southern from southern to southern Jersey, the Delaware. Um, area, uh, and and they used to be harvested all the time uh, annually, and there was a, a brief um, point where they weren't, and now, thanks to the efforts of many organizations, they are now coming back. So this is um, an export style of, of stout. This is the third in the series. I, have, I didn't get a chance to review the Exit 11, um, unfortunately, um, but uh, I, I am going to get to this one now, so let me bear with me as I'm... Uh, removing the uh, the casing here but um, yeah I, mean, I haven't had a, an export style stout in a while um, so I'm, I'm kind of I needed a little pick me up today it's been it's been really crazy um, another thing I wanted to mention is that um, I'm link, link link up the uh, ZMEA the Zickling Media Entertainment Group Association here at uh, one, one of the groups I'm involved with school I'm actually the secretary um, but I wanted to um, talk a little bit about, just give my thoughts on the um, panel we had today. We had a panel uh, of representatives from television, uh, and I really, really, um, really, really liked uh, a lot what, what had what had been said uh, about today. Just, be, I mean, really, some really great, great thoughts. A very big push for digital, um, and their appreciation for that really is, is good. I really, I really like the fact that they were willing and able to admit that you know that there is a lot of large changes coming, and as you know, broadband becomes more and more pervasive. As you've seen in recent articles, it's going to basically really get cooked up out there. But if you are um, a Baruch alum, if you're in the area, basically we do have lots of events coming up. Uh, definitely join join up the group, and we'll get you onto the mailing list as well if you want. Um, Lots of cool stuff going on there. Hopefully, we're going to be doing a new media or social new media social media event at some point in the future. Um, so look definitely look out for that. I will link that up at some point when it comes along. But now, I finally stopped struggling with the freaking opener, and let's get this thing started. All right. So you could say. So that's why I'm still dressed, and that's why I say, "Oh shucks, I got dressed up for the episode." Wow, loving the color. It's got this like nice little, um, very cappuccino uh, like uh, um, head on it. It's really nice. Great, la great, great lacing as uh, as is um, is good with a lot of the Exit series series beers. Get a lot. Of, this is definitely all, lots of chocolate, very malt driven. There's there's some fruit coming through here. Kind of like almost datey, 
or deity or, or in, in a lot of ways. So it's, I mean, it, it's, it seems like it's, it's going to be very, very rich, um, just from the nose. You can definitely tell right off of that. And, um, I under, I mean, it's brewed, you know, as it says on here, beer brewed with the oysters. Um, I kind of wish I had, uh, some oysters on the half shell right now. Um, you know, perhaps if, you, and, and that, I mean, there's a raw bar not too far away from you, so I'm very kind of tempted just to run out and go get some now, but, um, let's give this thing a shot. Wow, that is delicious. That is really delicious. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy polishing this off after I get off camera, but for now, love the mouthfeel. It's 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 very well bodied, and it's got this silkiness, this creaminess that's on there, and it's um like if you if you've ever had like um really good cream ale. Like the kind of sensation you get on the back of your palate right before it goes in your throat. Almost like cream to like some really, really like good um, cream soda too to a lesser extent. You get that creaminess on the back end there. It's really, it's really great. Um, this is a great, great stout for cold weather. So I'm kind of glad that I wore a less heavy jacket when, during my walk back to and from my uh, my doctor's appointment today. And it, it, it's um, I'm going to have an excellent time, like I said, finishing this off. I mean, I'm, I, w I really did like the uh, Exit 4, um, which was the American Triple, uh, and which I'll link up from episode 52 um, uh, in the show notes, basically. But I, I really enjoy this. Uh, I remember reading about this, too, that they use an Irish ale yeast. Um, yeah, I just say Irish, Irish uh, ale yeast, which is really interesting um, to give it kind of a, a distinctly uh, kind of a Irish uh, UK oriented export stout feel yeah but the, the, the creaminess the roastiness the the chocolate flavor um, loving it all around loving the mouthfeel like especially so definitely if you have a chance to pick up any of the exit series especially the oyster stout go out and pick it out um, uh, and enjoy it. It's uh, comes in at seven and a half a ABV, so it's uh, not necessarily you know a, a session beer. But uh, by all means, if you open the bottle, share it with share it with friends, share it with family, share it with you know even colleagues that you're or fellow beer lovers out there. Um, you know that's really what it's all about. You know, um, and it, you know that's what I really want people to do out there. You know, get get into that. In any case, um, running a little bit long today, so i got to wrap this up here. Um, you want to reach us via email, life on tap at lifeontap.net. The uh, website is www.lifeontap.net. Speaking of which, I now install Discus comments on there. I'm a big fan um, You know, from seeing them on uh, Gary Vaynerchuk and Derek Kwa's websites. Now I have to link them up. And um, amongst, other, amongst other places as well. Um, and uh, if you want to reach me out there in the Twitterverse and the Skyverse, I'm NewType2001. Facebook, facebook.com slash NewType2001. Um, my LinkedIn profile is also available uh, off of my Facebook page, although I'll also link it up in the episode now. Uh, and overall, like I said, I'm going to go enjoy this right now. And remember, life's a tap. Drink up till it's dry.